This is the ring resonator simulation which we showed in the My First Simulation section. We will add a mode expansion monitor to extract the S parameters, which are the complex transmission coefficients for the power from the fundamental mode going from the input port to the drop port, which we will call S21, and from the input port to the through port, which we will call S31, as well as a monitor to return the 2D field profile of the light through the drop port at a resonant frequency. Since there is no equivalent port object to the ports that are used in FDTD solutions to extract as parameters of a device, we can instead use a mode expansion monitor, since the mode expansion monitor can return the forward and backward coefficients of light traveling through a frequency domain field and power monitor in the selected mode of the waveguide. Duplicate the through monitor and set the name to in. Change the X position of the monitor to minus 4.2 microns to measure the input fields. Add the mode expansion monitor from the monitor's menu. Set the geometry to match the geometry of the in monitor with X position minus 4.2 micron, Y 3.6 micron, and Y span 2 micron. In the mode expansion tab, make sure the mode selection is set to fundamental mode. Select Align to Frequency Monitor Center, and in the Monitors for Expansion section, add three monitors. Set the names to In, Drop, and Through, and select the corresponding monitors from the drop-down menu. To get the S parameters as a result, edit the Model Analysis group and add a new result named S. I have the pre-written code to get the transmission coefficients from the mode expansion monitor for the in, drop, and through ports and calculate the S parameters and package the results into a dataset called S. I will copy and paste this code into the analysis script tab. To get the 2D field profile at the drop port at 1.5 micron, duplicate the drop monitor and edit it. Set the name to drop profile. Deselect Use Source Limits and set the number of frequency points to 1. Now set the center wavelength to 1.5 micron. In the Geometry tab, set the monitor type to 2D X normal and set the Z span to 1 micron. Now run the simulation. After it completes, I can visualize the S result from the model group and plot S21 and S31 as a function of frequency. Apply the absolute value scalar operation to see the amplitude of the transmission coefficients or the angle operation to see the phase. I can plot the simulated electric field profile from the E result from the drop profile monitor. This gives the 1D field profile along Y. Visualize the results expanded along Z to see the 2D field profile expanded in the Z dimension.